Hello everyone, I am Darshan. In this video, I will teach you a shortcut method to solve problems on bisection method. I am not going to cover any theoretical part of bisection method. I will just teach you a shortcut trick to solve the problems better. Consider the problem. Find a positive real root of the equation x cube minus 3x square plus 1 equal to 0 using bisection method correct to 3 decimal places. First we take x cube minus 3x square plus 1 as f of x and we have to find out a and b for which f of a and f of b have different signs. Next you may fix the number of decimal places to 3 in the calculator. So first press shift then set up. Fix to 3. Now we shall type this equation in the calculator. Here you can see x in the red color press alpha x cube minus 3 into x squared plus 1 so that is f of x to find f of 0 you press calc put x equal to 0 and press equals you get f of 0 that is 1 next to find f of 1 press calc then 1 and then equal you get f of 1 as minus 1 so observe here f of 0 is positive f of 1 is negative so there exists a root between 0 and 1 so we shall take a equal to 0 and b equal to 1 next you need to draw a table like this the first column corresponds to a next is b next f of a f of b next is c which is a plus b by 2 the midpoint of a and b next f of c the last column is update initially the value of a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 so i have taken here f of 0 is 1 i have written here f of 1 is minus 1 i have written here next to find out the value of c you type the quotient symbol in the calculator a which is 0 plus b which is 1 by 2 when you press equal you get the value of c which is 1 by 2 that is 0.5 next we should find out f of c that is f of x in terms of c this value the value of c is stored in answer so simply you can type this equation in terms of answer answer cube minus 3 into answer square plus 1 so when you press equal you get f of c that is 0 0.375 now you observe f of c and f of e both are positive so you change a to c if you get a negative value change b to c if you get a positive value change a to c when you change a to c in place of 0 you write 0 0.5 1 is same as 1 f of p is same as minus 1 
f of a is 0 0.375 0 0.375 now you press the arrow you have a plus b by 2 in the first iteration now the value of a is changed change the value of a which is 0 0.5 b is still 1 if you press equal you get the value of c as 3 by 4 which is 0.75 again press the up arrow you have the same equation in terms of answer now the answer is 0.75 if you press equal you get f of 0 0.75 that is minus 0 0.266 now we compare this f of c with f of a and f of b f of b is negative f of c is negative so change p to c in place of a you have 0 0.5 in place of p change 1 to 0 0.75 f of a is 0 0.375 f of 0 0.750 is minus 0 0.266 you write here now to find c you press the up arrow you have the equation 0 0.5 plus 1 by 2 which is the second iteration now the value of 1 is changed to 0.75 change 1 to 0.75 when you press equal you get the value of c as 0.625 to find f of c again press the up arrow you have that equation in terms of answer when you press equal you get f of c that is 0.072 so as I said earlier, if you get a positive value in this particular problem, change the value of A to C. If you get a negative value, change the value of P to C. Continuing this way, in the ninth step, I got F of C as 0 0.004. So I change the value of A to C, that is 0 0.6492651. When I press the up arrow, I still have that formula 0 0.649 plus 0 0.653 by 2. I change 0 0.6492 651. I get the value of C as 0 0.65. I press the up arrow, I press equal, I get 0 0.002, that is the value of f of c. So I change the value of a to c. Now press the up arrow, change the value of a to 652. You get the value of c is 653 press the up arrow press equals you get f of c as 0 0.001 change the value of a to c the value of a is 653 the value of p is 0 0.653 again press the up arrow change the value of a to 653 and you get the value of C as 0 0.653 once you get same value for C consecutive same value for C you got the required solution here I got 0 0.653 in the 11th step and the 12th step therefore the required root is 0 0.653 here in this video I used 
991 ES calculator. The same trick can be utilized to solve problems in using any other calculator. I will explain those methods in my further videos. Thank you.